Hey fellow vault dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today it's a quick video about canned coffee. What is all this hype about? Why is everyone talking about it? Why everyone wants this new coffee maker from Atom Shop? Why is everyone so excited about Slocum's Joe coffee machine? And this is all because of how coffee works. In this game you have two types of AP regeneration, soft and hard. And for example the soft AP regeneration will be something like action point. Action points regenerate 45% faster, which means this AP does work, regenerate faster, but only if you are not using it. For example if I'm sprinting I'm using out my AP and it is not regenerating. When I stop, it will start regenerating. The same situation if I use a jetpack, I'm using it out, it starts regenerating when I stop using a jetpack. If I go into VATS, my regeneration of AP will be paused as well until I exit VATS. Now, canned coffee is different. This is a hard AP regeneration, which means I will be getting 12 AP every second for 25 seconds, no matter what, even if I'm currently using AP. An example of that will be jetpacking. That is jetpacking without hard AP regeneration. At some point, jetpack cut off. If I use a canned coffee, I will be jetpacking and it does it cut off. It will keep going as long as I have canned coffee active. Fortunately, you cannot fly forever. You will still get down. If I'm sprinting, you can see how canned coffee regeneration is fighting against the drain from the sprinting. So that is how canned coffee works. And apart from all those useful but not very important use cases like jetpacking, sprinting, using automatic melee weapons. Actually, act automatic melee weapons on low levels where you have problem to sustain them. Free canned coffee from Coffee Maker can be a temporary solution, yes. But we are talking about speedrunners, about boss fights and doing way more damage than otherwise you can to avoid a long explanation. Basically, VATS criticals are extremely deadly on endgame bosses. And with canned coffee, what I didn't tell you yet, you can stack it. I can drink 10 of canned coffee and I will be getting 120 AP every second for 25 seconds, which is a lot and can allow you to sustain otherwise inavailable in VATS weapon, basically draining too much AP to use them, like Gatling Plasma, and I will show you a quick clip. I'm actually not using a canned coffee there, but item that you can craft, and there is one disadvantage of those craft table buffs, and I'm talking about Tarber juice, because it is good, it's not very expensive, I would say it's cheap, but it does spoil, so you need to craft it from time to time and then use it. And canned coffee, you can just keep in your inventory and if there will be a time that you need to use it, you use it. So take a look on this quick clip how much damage I was able to pull off testing a legacy weapon. I still need to drink that before I started firing, so spam it, drink that. Okay, that's all of it. And let's try. Whoa! Wow, that's the, that's the surprising amount of damage. Look what is going on in here. And that is exactly the main reason why everyone is so excited about canned coffee. Probably some people as well for roleplay purposes. They want to drink coffee in game because they drink it in real life. And that is absolutely valid reason. But that being said, I hope this video was helpful for you to figure out what is so special about canned coffee. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all 
in the next one.